Hello everyone. Hopefully you're having a good Blu-ray Tuesday if you're watching it today. Uh, as I just mentioned, it is Blu-ray Tuesday, so I've got a quick video for you. It's not going to be a long one. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. I grabbed one thing. At, actually, I grabbed two things at Best Buy. Found one for $5.99 in older movies, so I got a little bit of a surprise here. And then um, two movies from Amazon, plus one steelbook from Best Buy. So let me go ahead and get into it here. I've got the Warrior Steelbook uh, from Best Buy, Lionsgate Steelbook with the slip cover, if you want to call it that, or plastic sleeve, I guess it could also be called. Love this movie. Um, I'm going to have to do a top 15 or top 25 or something like that, favorite films of all time. This would absolutely be in there. I loved this movie so much. Um, it's just incredible. I remember taking my dad to see this in theater and we both just walked out absolutely loving this one. Um, it's just so good. Directed by Gavin O'Connor. Um, you've got an incredible cast in this one. Uh, actually, Frank Grillo is also in this. You've got Joel Edgerton, Tom Hardy here, about two brothers. But yeah, this movie is just incredible. Absolutely love this movie. If you've not seen this yet, I, I highly recommend you seeing it. I'm super jealous that you get to watch it for the first time if you haven't seen this. So definitely get around to checking this out. Here is the back of it. Um, I wasn't originally going to take this off here, but since it's kind of already sliced open here, I'm just going to go ahead and rip it open. The nice thing about Lionsgate Steelbooks is they all uh, are in stock day one at least um and if you want to you know give la la land or punisher a hard time i got him so i did not pre-order any lion's gate steel book um so here is the front of it and i do inspect the hell out of these things because the slips get damaged pretty easily this is nice and very tight fitting here here's the back of it you got nick nolte right there he's also in this uh, this is honestly, to me, Nick Nolte, one of his best performances ever. Um, and you'll see that if you haven't seen this, then you'll notice it when you watch the movie and, uh, I'm gonna have to do a giveaway on the digital copy here soon. So here is the inside of it. That is beautiful. Here's your disc art right here. Absolutely just, ah, oh, this is stunning steel book. Lionsgate always, always kills it with their steel books. Um, this is no exception. It's remarkable. I just recently rewatched this, um, but I could always watch this movie. I'm always up for a rewatch. So this is what it kind of looks like together. Let me go ahead and show that. So yeah, it's really cool how they do that artwork. And now other companies like Paramount is getting into that with the ring. They did it with Event Horizon. Um, and I think some other studios might be getting into that as well. So the whole slip sleeve slip pack slip cover or you know whatever you want to call it so um here's the next one i got from amazon because you know shout select titles are i don't know if they're ever in stores very rarely will they be at best buy but yeah i grabbed a walk in the woods this is spine number 136 from shout select right there if you can see it i've never seen this but another nick nolte movie emma thompson and robert redford so uh Let's see, celebrated tra travel writer Bill Bryson challenges himself to hike the Appalachian Trail, 2,190 miles of America's most spectacular and unspoiled countryside, much to the chagrin of his loving wife, who insists he not embark on the trek alone. The peace and tranquility he hopes to find is anything but peaceful and tranquil when the only person willing to join him is his long down on his luck serial philander friend who is one step ahead of the law um these two old friends are about to discover that when you push yourself to the edge the real fun begins so yeah i don't know when did this come out 2015 so it's actually relatively pretty new um i didn't i never even heard of this until shout select announced it have you heard of this have you seen it what are your thoughts on this because yeah it kind of came out of nowhere for me um, but yeah, it's rated R for language and some sexual references. Uh, the special features, you got a walk in the woods, the Appalachian Trail, a walk in the woods, take a hike with a legendary cast, the music of a walk in the woods, and Robert Redford's call to action PSA and some outtakes. So, um, in a brand new interview with the director, Ken Quapis. So that is the director. Never heard of him either, but yeah, so you get an interview. That's the special features on that. Um. 
Um, I don't know if I'll watch that tonight. I think this is the movie I'm going to watch tonight. Uh, American Carnage. I actually didn't know. I remember seeing a trailer and I thought this looked decent. Um, and then I was on Blu-ray.com like Friday or something like that. And it was the last second I realized, oh, wow, this comes out. I didn't know that. And it came out with, it came with slip cover. So I was like, oh, I got to get this. So I ordered it. I didn't pay for anything this week from Amazon because I've got so much in rewards from my Amazon credit card. Um, so I'm kind of just using those up. But yeah, so this was nice to get, you know, not have to pay. Um, I'm pretty sure there's no reversible artwork. Yeah, you just get your slip here. And stuff. But yeah, you got Jenna Ortega, um, Jorge Lenderborg Jr. and Eric Dane. So don't know much about this one. Um, let's see here. After a governor issues an executive order to arrest the children of an undocumented immigrants, the newly detained youth are offered an opportunity to have their charges dropped by volunteering to provide care to the elderly. Once inside the elder care facility, the volunteers discover the governor and the facility's supervisor have cooked up horrifying depraved conspiracy that endangers the young and the old in this twisted thriller comedy. So, yeah, it looked okay. Um... I might check it out tonight. We'll see what I end up watching. Um, but yeah, this one looked okay. This one looked okay. So if you've seen this one, because it was on digital, I'm pretty sure, for a while. But it's cool that it's got a physical media release. Also a Lionsgate movie. Um, so, you know, Lionsgate does a lot of those slip covers, the 4Ks at least, with the cutoff edges, but not on their Blu-rays. And um, But I think a Lionsgate does a ton of the Blu-ray plus DVD on the like side of it instead of across the top so if you're into that and then that was it that was all i got for blu-ray tuesday but i ended up getting a bonus movie i was kind of getting ready to leave and i saw this and it sounds some uh a friend of mine capri she made me a watch list and this is on there i've never seen it so i ended up buying this dead poet society was 5.99 at best buy right now so robin williams i've never seen it um <laughs> Uh, I remember asking my dad if he's seen it. He's like, yeah, it's it's kind of boring. He's like, but it's it's good. He's like, it's boring. It's just if you're into that. So, um, but yeah, she added it to the watch list. So I got to check it out. And I figured I'd buy it. And maybe I'll watch this tonight instead. I don't know. But it's also um, Touchstone. So this is never going to get a re-release more than likely. It's not going to get a 4K. If you have not seen this movie or... Um, you don't own it and you are interested in buying this, grab it because this is never going to get a re-release. Anything that's owned by Touchstone, Fox, or Disney, um, probably some other companies, anything that Disney owns is more than likely never going to get a re-release or a 4K. Um, even stuff that has been done by them, uh, like Fox, they got stuff probably sitting in their vault that they'll never touch, so yeah. So anything by, you know, I think The Rock might be Fox or somebody. Touchstone maybe. Armageddon, definitely. That's probably never going to get a re-release. This, so. Yeah, good luck. Anything that's Disney related, you're not going to get a re-release. So that is everything. Um, let me go ahead and kind of show these off here. These are the three I got for Blu-ray Tuesday right there. And here is the fourth one with Dead Poet Society. So... Have you seen any of these? I'm really curious because the only one that I've seen is uh, Warrior. Absolutely love it. Um, if you'd be interested in seeing me do like a top 15, top 25 favorite films of all time, let me know in the comment section below. I'm thinking about doing something like that. I'd like to have all the movies um, set aside so I could just pull it and be like, here's number 25 and so on and so forth. But yeah, I'm interested in actually seeing all of these. So if you've seen them, let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on Warrior? Because I love that movie. So um, if you weren't a fan, I'd love to hear why you weren't. Um, other than that, I hope you have a great day. Uh, be sure to catch the replay of my boutique label tournament from last night. Um, next Monday, there's two weeks left in that. I did an interview recently with Tim. Talks, talkies. Just posted that today as well. Um, and I got an, a review coming soon. A couple unboxing videos coming hopefully soon this week. So anyways, yeah, trying to put out some content. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you have a great day and be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you aren't already. Have a good one.